Have you ever found yourself in a situation when you have to perform cost estimation of part in which you prepare lengthy spreadsheets and carry out the cost estimation? SOLIDWORKS comes with a tool that does the cost estimation for you. Hi, my name is Jaya Savlani and I am an applications engineer in SOLIDWORKS with engineering technique. In this video, I am going to take a sheet metal part and machining part to demonstrate how SOLIDWORKS performs cost estimation accurately along with providing you better flexibility over your essential manufacturing parameter as well as auto generating the report. So what are the benefits of the costing? So first one is you do not have to prepare lengthy spreadsheets that is the traditional way of doing things and with SOLIDWORKS costing you can just simply click a button and it will do the cost estimation for you. So the benefits of using costing, you have quick and fast cost estimation, accurate results, customizable templates, as well as you can auto update your cost when you make your design changes. These are the manufacturing methods that are supported in the SOLIDWORKS costing. So we have sheet metal, machining, plastic molding, casting, 3D printing and structural member. So all of these aspects of the manufacturing are covered very neatly and accurately in the SOLIDWORKS costing. So it provides you better flexibility, uh, a wide range of options to choose from. Let us sum to the SOLIDWORKS. Here I have a sheet metal part with one band and many cutouts as you can see in the screen. I'll estimate the cost of the sheet metal component with the help of SOLIDWORKS costing. I'll activate the costing tool. Since this is a sheet metal component, SOLIDWORKS costing has automatically loaded the sheet metal costing template. The template is based on the standard industry practices, however they can be customized as well. I'll select the launch template editor button here and it will open a new window where we can change the parameters. In the material tab, you can define materials. In the thickness tab, you can create a library of your available materials the sheet thickness and the cost of this material based on the per sheet or on the basis of feet. In the operations group, you will find different operations for manufacturing the parts such as cut, bend, etc. In the cut subgroup, you can specify the cost of material removal based on the type of the material and the machine used. Similarly, in the bend subgroup, you can specify the cost of the bends. Costing templates also offers adding a cost for custom operations such as painting, inspection and you can also add your custom operations in the list. After setting the parameters, you can select which type of material you want to use for the part, thickness and how you wish to define the stock, whether on the basis of weight or on the basis of the sheet material size. You can also select which area to cost such as bounding box, flat pattern of the sheet metal component or custom sheet size. You can also define percentage scrap from the sheet while manufacturing this part. Additionally, you have the option to specify total number of parts and the lot size based on your company practices. You can also give markup or discount on the price. I'll click the begin cost estimation button and within a couple of seconds you will find the estimated cost which can be set as a baseline for comparing this price with the price of the modified design. So you can keep check on your cost targets. On the left side you will see the detailed analysis of the cost estimated. Since this component has one bend and many cutouts, two machines will be used and hence two setup costs. You can also add a setup cost as per your requirements. In the cut parts folder you will see the cost associated with different cut parts. Selecting any cut path will highlight the corresponding cutout in the graphic screen. You also have the option to change the machine used for the cut path as well as a preview of the cost if you decided to change the machine. SOLIDWORKS never fails to surprise you in offering flexibility because you can add custom operations as well in your cost estimation. Now let me make some design changes. I will change the diameter of these four hole cutouts to the 8mm diameter. As you can see, I am changing this from 10.668 to the 8mm. As soon as I make changes, an option appears to update the cost. By clicking it, SOLIDWORKS costing will automatically recalculate the cost of the part. And you can compare it with your base price in case additional changes may be required to achieve the target cost. 
Now let me generate a report of this cost estimation. Here I have the different options such as simple estimated detailed and an detailed analysis. You can select the document name. Clicking the publish icon we create a report of your cost estimation in just a matter of click. So here I have the word document. You can see a properly organized report is presented here with the cost estimated per part, cost breakdown, manufacturing cost breakdown as well as all of the cut parts which machines they are going to use and what is the cost. So this is very easy in SOLIDWORKS you can just in a matter of a click you can generate the report and this report could be sent to your seniors for further analysis and ultimately they help you in making the decision. So this was a little preview of the costing and if there are many more things there are many more functionalities in this tool. So if you wish to know more and if you are curious to implement this functionality in your organization, contact us at marketing at the rate or call us at 9427 611 239. Thank you for watching this video.